Okay, so now the lip liner's on. We're going to finish off with the lipstick and gloss. And I chose a lipstick that was very similar color to the lip liner. Maybe a teeny tiny bit lighter, but um, definitely a, a burgundy or wine color um, and a creamy color as well. Um, you can use a matte color, it's fine, um, because we're just going to put a gloss on top of it and make it glossy anyway. So it's up to you. Just find a color that you really like that's in the, the deep burgundy wine family. You can apply it with the lip um, liner, uh, I'm sorry, the lip brush, or uh, with the lipstick tube, whatever your preference is. And just put a nice full coat, part your lips for me, a little more. Just put a nice full coat on top so it looks nice and creamy, and that color stands out vibrantly. Just have patience, really paint on your lips. Make sure everything is blended and even. Make sure nothing's on your teeth. That's important. Okay. And then the last thing we want to do is add some lip gloss. So I'm using a clear lip gloss um, that has a very, very high shine. And it's up to you. You can use, um, you know, a lip gloss with a little bit of a color to it, um, the same color as the lipstick, just as long as it's got a very high shine. And it can also have a glitter to it. That's fine as well. Um, it's all personal preference. I love this um, MAC Clear Lip Gloss. It has such a high shine and you can put it over anything. And look how beautiful. Her lips are like totally juicy.